Update on the injuries. Uh, obviously, uh, same guys as yesterday. Leckler with the knee, Bartell with the hamstring, Curry with the knee. Ivy still conditioning. Uh, Goodson went down with a hamstring today, and Richard Gordon went uh, down with a hip flexor today. So, um, you know, we'll keep evaluating those guys. We'll let you know on a day-to-day -day basis where they're at. But uh, those are the updates on the injuries. Leckler, is that guy you concerned at all, or is it pretty minor? I, I don't expect it to be any big deal, uh, so I'm not real concerned about it. How are the rookies adapting to life in the NFL, Coach? Well, they're they're. Uh, uh, I think they're adapting pretty well, um, but uh, every day is a new challenge for those guys. So every day they learn a little something new, and, and uh, uh, they're understanding that camp and in the National Football League is not an easy thing, and, and they got to learn how to push through just like everybody else does. So, but I think our rookies are adapting fairly decent uh, as it stands right now. Is there a difference the second day after kind of the adrenaline rush of the first day? Yeah, the guys guys are guys are a little more sore. You know, their legs are a little, little dead. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, I, again, I thought we had pretty good tempo today. Uh, you know, the heat got to us a little bit, and we had to kind of regroup ourselves. And, and, uh, and, but I thought we finished up pretty strong. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate uh, Carson Palmer's mastery of what's going on out there? Eight, nine. Uh, I think he's doing exceptional. Um, you know, he, I think he's got full command of the offense. And uh, I think he's done a nice job of running it. The defense today, Dennis, though, seemed to really step up after yesterday. Yeah, we made a few plays. Um, you know, I I think coaches are all perfectionists, so it's never uh, it's never uh, what you want. Um, I've learned over the years that when you walk off the practice field, it's never as good as you thought it was, or never as bad as you thought it was. So, kind of reserve judgment till we get a chance to watch the tape, but. Uh, uh, it was nice, you know, at least to see us make a few plays. You know, Mike Mitchell made a nice play and uh, on the interception, so that was good to see. You didn't have Mitchell at all during the offseason and stuff. But what have you seen? He's mentioned the one play, but what sort of things is he bringing you guys? Uh, you know, I think he's 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 got some speed. Um, I think he's got some talent. Um, you know, obviously he's a little bit behind as far as you know knowing the scheme and knowing the system. Uh, but for the first couple of days of seeing him out here and no pads on, um, you know, I think he's done a nice job. Pads go on tomorrow. How leery are you going to be of that, or is it just kind of this is what it's all We're about? We're going to go play football, uh, and that's the way the game was meant to be played in pads, and we'll put them on, and, and uh, we'll mix it up a little bit, and uh, we'll find out uh, who's going to compete when we put the pads on. Did you do anything different in practice today, tempo or otherwise, knowing that you are going to be putting pads on tomorrow? No, no, we didn't cut back at all. Uh, uh, we actually, today's practice was a little bit longer than yesterday's because we only had one, so, uh, but I thought, uh, I thought we got pretty decent work today. Been a lot of observations from uh, a lot of players about the change in culture, that kind of thing, and the things that are expected of them. Um, how do you straddle a line between respecting what went on here before and, and staying true to you, what you want to bring here and what you and Reggie want to bring to the organization? Well, I mean, I think, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we respect the history uh, of the organization. We respect what Mr. Davis was able to do here, uh, the loyalty that he created within this organization, the brand that he created within this organization. Uh, but you want me to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <huh? laughs> but but uh, we're going to do it our way. That's the only way that we know how to do it. And, uh, you know, um, so, you know, Reggie and I have a plan on, on the way that we want to run the football organization, and, and so uh, that's the way we're going to do it, and, uh, you know, we hope to have success doing it that way. Coach, with some of the Raider fans being allowed on the sidelines today, does that make you look forward to us being in the stadium for a regular season? Well, yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, it's always great to have fans out here, and, uh, uh, you know, we can't wait. You know, obviously this weekend we're going to have a uh, pretty significant group of fans come out here for practice this weekend, and then uh, uh, we'll be excited about getting in into the stadium uh, on Monday night against Dallas. Yesterday, you put a you said you put an emphasis on things like body language. How did you feel about their body language today? I thought uh, I thought early it was pretty good. I thought it sagged a little bit as we got through the middle tough part of practice, uh, and then I thought it picked up there towards the end. A lot of uh, at least most of yesterday and. 
for a great deal of time today, it looked like there was a lot of a lot of clean catches. I mean, in your past years, that's been a kind of an issue here. Then it kind of sagged a little bit. There were some drops and some mishandles. How cognizant are you of making sure that this is a, a team that's really secure with the ball in terms of receivers? Well, I mean, I think uh, when you look at the National Football League, I mean, I think there's there's no bigger stat. Uh, as far as winning games is the turno turnover takeaway ratio. And so um, uh, we're going to work extremely hard uh, offensively of when we have the ball, not giving it back. Uh, and then defensively, the only reason why we go out there is to take the ball away so uh, and get the ball back for our offense. So those are, those are things that, that we're going to harp on and focus in on and uh, continue to work on throughout the season. Marcelo Reese missed a lot of the offseason stuff. Um, what are your impressions of him so far today? He made some nice uh, you know, I've been impressed with Marcel. Um, I think he's he's an exceptional athlete as a fullback, um, and again, I think Marcel uh, his role will be defined when we get the pads on and and uh, uh, see where he's at from that standpoint. What kind of things can you do to prevent the team from sagging a little bit in practice and change it up? Do you do some, do something different? Well, yeah, I mean, I think at times you do. Um, I don't know that there's anything specific. Uh, that you do uh, today, you know, I felt it was necessary to, to bring them all in together, uh, let them know what I was observing, and uh, give them a chance to get it corrected. And I thought they did a pretty nice job of responding. There seemed to be a lot to, to like about Carson's performance today. I mean, he seemed really accurate, seemed to improvise pretty well. What's been the, the, the aspects of his game that have really just jumped off the page to you? Well, I think the fact that he can make every throw in the book. Uh, you know, I think uh, he stands tall in the pocket. He's got great vision. Uh, he understands what the defense is doing, and he understands when the defense does one thing, where the vulnerabilities are, and he's able to exploit it. And, and that's what you want your quarterback to be able to do, and I think he's done a great job of it. Great comfort to you as a new head coach, having a guy like Carson? Absolutely. Uh, you can't win in this league on a consistent basis without a quarterback, and uh, we feel good about the one we got. Did you see any... Last question, please. Did you see any strides made between yesterday and today? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll have to go back in and look at the tape and really see exactly where we, we, we gained some things. But, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we were able to take the ball away. Uh, you know, it looked like when we on the third down period that we were able to make a few stops and be able to get off the field in third down situations. So that was good from a defensive standpoint. You know, and then offensively, I thought uh, the last couple of periods of the day, we kind of responded a little bit.